these are local people who have nothing. They are malnourished. And they are the things which are here, even if the mother had the, the scabies. And the other problem is the child is also anemic. She has the anemia. She, the same because they were not eating. It gets a little difficult, a little tight. But we can live our lives. Sometimes we have lunch, sometimes not. Sometimes we get enough to sell so we can buy other food, like rice and beans. But sometimes we have to hustle or live in some way, because just fishing, it's not enough to support our family. You can often see when kids are malnourished when they come to school to sleep. They are sleepy all day and have a pale color on their faces. They are going through a difficult economic situation and not eating well. Almost half of all infants in Bangladesh are born low birth weight, that is 2,500 grams or less. And those infants right off from birth start disadvantaged. Those low birth weight infants have more death due to diarrheal disease. They have poor development cognitively, so they don't do as well in school. Having half a population starting off disadvantaged like that has enormous consequences for the country's economic development. Lack of appropriate diet or lack of sufficient food is a big issue, particularly in the first three years of life. There's quite a lot of evidence now that a child that is malnourished in the first three years of life will not reach their potential for that reason alone. The more what we call risk factors in the environment, the worse the child's development. It's, it's additive. The homemade soft drink is made of carrots, lime juice and orange peel. They are making food with vitamins to prevent diseases such as respiratory diseases. At the same time, they are providing vitamins with products from their own land, made with carrots, lime, orange peel, soya protein and so on. They will make the best out of their own resources. Yes, in this, we make a hole here and we put the feet here and then we leave it there. This means learning to use food properly, a correct balance of nutritious meals.